Welcome to another case of Bass Lady Quick One. These are just gospel movements you can be making use of. Easy to achieve, okay? Gospel basic passing notes and this feel you can be making use of. Now, let me quickly break this down for you because it's easy to achieve. If you know your fretboard, there is nothing to worry about. Now, let's get started. The key of the song is A major. Get the progression first. From the six, six, you're going back to one, one, seven, one, five. Then the next chord progression, two. Then I went to six. Although from two, you can go to four, then one. Okay, so is it that you're going to? Then you go to six. Then you go back to one. Then your last chord progression is five. Or you will do this. Two. Four. You go to one. One. Then five. And that's it. Okay? Now, turn this off a notation you're playing from the la. La. T. So, then you're going to re, re. Like I said, you can go to la, la, and go to one, one. Then five. All you do with this re, five. Do. Then so. Okay. Now. This basic passing notes and bass feel. Look at it. Look at what I did. From the... I'm still on the six chord. If you don't have a five string bass, let's say you don't have the B, just do this. That's passing note to the six, five, six. Then... So what... Is that note there? This is my six. If this is my six, this is my six, seven, one. So I played that was the first passing note I made use of. Now from the this is a gospel move, okay? So going to the one, I use a passing note seven, one to the God of our flesh, then. Going to the five, I make use of this passing note. One, two, five. Now I'm going to the two chord. From five, I connected immediately to the two. That is it. Now five, two, one, seven, five, three, two. Okay, now I'm going to six chord, six, then one, then five. Now I went back to two again, two, then I'm going to the six chord, this is another bass fee I made use. Bass feel of basic passing notes, okay? Now that bass feel to the sixth chord, I started from the one, one, five, four, three, one, six, and that is it, okay? 
then seven one i'm going to the five then i played the passing note i made use of going to the five i play i replace the five with the seven that is it you can actually replace the five with a seven most times your keyboard player will ask you to replace the five with a seven or you should just stay on the five okay so that was what i did there um five you saw me to go to from one to five i played i've replaced the five that's the seven there so i continue that movement that was what i did there the ending four three four three two one seven five two one seven repetition of note that was it okay now let me put everything together da, da, da. To the God of our flesh, to the Tuka, then seven, one, then you go to five. Now I will go back to two again, two, then to the six. Then two, the one. Then I'm going to the five. I replace the five with the seven. That is it. These are movements you can use on your chord changes. Okay? Try them. You will come out sweet. Okay? Hope you got something. Now, um, this is everything I want to show you today. Okay, if you're new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button looking at you, turn on the notification bell, okay, so that you will be notified whenever I upload new videos, okay? Now, if you need private lessons from me, every information is just right there looking at you, chat me by WhatsApp, send me an email indicating you want to join my Zoom private lesson. And if you need any of this pack, these packs are loaded, it will help you improve on the bass guitar quickly, okay, they are loaded okay if you need them same information okay i will see you in my next video bye